In Durban, Trade Union Federation Kosato has handed over a memorandum by workers demanding, and they were making these demands across nine provinces today. The nationwide strike is over. Socioeconomic problems, including rolling power cuts, that they say are suffocating our economy. ENC reporter Leti William Lule was out and about today and joins us, us now live from our Durban uh, studio. And just to give us a wrap of what happened today, Tegwini Lukele, good afternoon, welcome. Thanks for your time here on today. KwaZulu Natal Kosatu out in the streets today. What did they say about the socioeconomic challenges that are plaguing our country? Well, but then um, we saw a lot of um, members that are affiliated with COSA to being on the street today and demanding change. Um, some of their grievances that they are demanding from, from government and also the private sector is change regarding unemployment and also the rolling blackouts. They are saying that um, the country is faced with a high rate of unemployment, especially when it comes to the youth, and they want the government and also the private sector to change this, saying that they have the powers to do so. They are also talking about uh, the rolling blackouts, of course, that we're experiencing in South Africa, and they are saying that government is doing little to nothing to change the situation. They also touched on the crime that the country is facing. Um, here in KZN, you'd remember, Braden, that um, there's a lot of mass shooting that are taking place. Um, we are seeing also political um, killings that are plaguing the, uh, the, the province, rather. And um, Kosatu here in KwaZulu Natal is saying that the police and also the government need to do something. Um, some drastic measures to, need to be taken to change um, what the, the country is currently going through. They've also spoken about um, the privatization of SOEs, speaking against um, this. Um, they are also saying that in 14 days, they are. They are demanding for the government to come back to them and um, have some answers regarding what they had on their uh, memorandum that they handed over to the mayor of Eteguini, the office of the premier here in Guazulu Natal, and also um, Transnet as well. But in speaking to um, Kosatu here in Guazulu Natal, Edwin Mkiza, this is what he had to say. One of our grievances is what is known in the uh, public, the privatization of Tama SOEs. And we as uh, UNTU, we are against privatization, we are against the selling of jobs, which threatens the livelihood of South Africans. The, the problems of transnet are not resolved, but the groupings are selling the stake of transnet to one another to enrich their friends. Because I will tell you one thing, um, the problem of debt and port is congestion, of which privatization is not what's going to solve that problem. Why would that problem can be solved is to uh, develop the city of Deben, build more roads, expand roads so that the consignment can move quickly. Uh, Trusted does not talk about what it has happened that Deben port have lost the status of being a gateway to Africa. And they are mentioning one of the things as threats, the port of Baira in Mozambique. And then one will ask one question that how come then Mozambique, which was in the civil war from 19, 1972 up until 1992, have bypassed us and then have uh, uh, remained as a threat to us in, in the space of uh, import and export business. So we are saying they must address the real issue. They have not even dealt with what was recommended on the uh, Zondo Commission. The corruption that is happening at Transnet, nothing, nobody has been called into books. So they are merely giving business to their friends so that the, the few can be richer and the rest will squander in poverty. Thank you. Uh, the issue of corruption and enrichment of a few is one of the major issues that workers have been raising, uh, locally and trade unions have been speaking about. But also there's the matter of privatization. I understand you spoke to a worker from Transnet who's a member of the South African Transport Workers Union. What did they tell you? Well, but then a lot of the members that took part in the march today um, come from Transnet, and their issues have to do with the privatization of the SOE. They are saying that they were not communicated, or there was no communication, rather, between um, the company and the workers. And some of them are saying that tomorrow they are, they are hearing, rather, that there is a meeting that is going to be taking place in, at Transnet. And um, that meeting, um, or during that meeting, the discussion is going to be around um, selling 
building of a corridor um, and they are hearing that this corridor is going to be sold to the private sector and it's going to be sold for 20 years, something that they are calling against, saying that they don't know um, what's going to happen to their jobs if this happens. Um, some of the leaders um, at Transnet that I spoke to who are representing the workers are saying that a lot of the people um, don't know if they will have jobs by next week because um, they are fearing that there's going to be a lot of changes once this corridor has been sold off to the private sector. And they are also saying that the government is part of these people that want to privatize Transnet, which is something that the country should be um, rising up against because that this means that a lot of people will be losing their jobs. So a lot of members um, forming f or who are part of UNTU and also Saktau here in KwaZulu-Natal um, came to the march just so that they can have their voices heard um, calling against the privatization of the SOE. While I spoke to one of the workers, this is what he had to say. Say we are angry would be an understatement. In fact, we are frustrated. Here we are dealing with a, a big elephant, uh, the capitalist, capitalist system, which is very arrogant to the people. In fact, it is a crime to the society. Uh, right now, at Trustnet, we, we've got a very arrogant employer who does not care about workers. There is this thing, if you can allow me, that says you must sacrifice for what you want. Otherwise, what you want will be a sacrifice. As we are here, we are not paid. We are, it will not work, no pay. Which means we are serious about this fight. And we are not going to back down under it. Look, what is happening here, the Trustnet is not even consulting, consulting the workers. As we speak, at TPT, as you see workers standing behind me, the, the private sector is already there without their knowledge. The GCE is coming tomorrow, Porsche, to inform them about the change. Yet they don't know. They work there. And their, their life is impacted by, by the change. They are bringing a private sector which is profit-driven, profit which does not care about the, the, the living of the employees. As we speak, the Kwajena Corridor is, is going to be leased for 20 years to the private sector. The government is leasing, the current government, which, which we view it as a capitalist system, as we speak, because that's how the cooperative system operates. They are, they are leasing the corridor for 20 years. And they say they can't guarantee our work. And as we speak, there are about 3,700 workers that are in limbo, not knowing their fate. As we, as we speak to me, I don't know what is going to happen to me tomorrow. So as you see, I say it is not that it's because we want to be here. It's because we are forced by Trustnet to be here. Because otherwise, if we can allow this thing to, to eat us, we are going to perish. Even the generation to come at Trustnet will charge us. The history will charge us based on this. We are prepared. This is a sign, just a sign, the beginning. Because we said, even if, if, even if it is 11 hour, we are, we, are going to, we are not going to wait to start. We'll fight till the end. Okay, that ends. The, that's a member of Satau, one of the workers from Transnet, who is marching as part of the Kosatu National Day of Action in Devon, ending that update from Letiwe Mjuri in our studios in